So here we are, Scott's Comp is into joining his Melbourne UAV team. Uh, it seems easy enough. We're going to go and find a, uh, a dummy called Outback Joe. And, uh, but how hard could it be? You've only got to just go out. It's dropping a bottle on the bottle. <laughs> how hard could it be? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not going to be hard at all. We'll have it wrapped up in no time. Yeah, this is going to be a treat. Yeah. Maybe we should just email them and tell them to write our name on the chat. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Well, I can't believe that no one hasn't done it yet. Mm. Like, in two years, no one's even gone out on the course. And the closest it? people are hacks like us. Yeah. Mm. So we might see for a chance. <laughs> <Fair enough. laughs> well, we'll get back to you. <laughs> well, 130 days to go. And we've just got our UAV and our spare UAV. Bit of building to do yet. If we see that fall off on the runway at King Aroyne, we know who to, who to punch up. And that's the only reason you're taping it. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. uh. So, what have we got? We're going to the bottom of the wing first. As per our instructions. How's it working out? It's very well. We've got some handy design tips about putting two struts there to support it a bit better. So we're going to glue those in. The other side. From the back. Yeah. Good stuff. We'll see if that keeps the wings on. Well, we're just doing a bit of a metal smithing here. It's like a Rolls Royce, mate. They're all made by hand, these fine machines. <laughs> like your work. More wing cuts. So, what do you got there? This is our final wing. The final wing and a helper who's talking. We've got another helper. 
Makes life very easy. <laughs> Makes life easy. Okay, let's go and check outside. I'll go get some rolls. Thank you. And how are we going out here? Going on, mate. What you got there, Davo? Well, just about got our wing struts and wing supports ready. Just doing some little a bit of filing down. And as I said before, mate, there's something special about doing things by hand. <laughs> hand made. Okay. Here's the little mechanism. Look at that. And the servo. Right here, Dave. Pop that bottle in. Pop the old bottle in. Back along. Oh, hang on. Oh, hang on. Have you locked it? Right. You ready? Stand back. Official bottle drop test number one. Ready for Joe. And release. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> Give it another go. Okay, here's our camera controller, which should get us out of trouble. This is how we can steer the camera around. Have a look at the camera under there. Ian, and you can see that, um... <laughs> oh, then Dave just pulled the plug yeah, out. Yeah, did when you picked it up. <laughs> Sabotage, he's pulled the lead. I was like, why is it not working? <laughs> Things to check with that. <laughs> Things to check. So there should be a checklist for that, but anyway. And you can see, you can see that. We're spinning around and have a good look. So have a look on the telly, zoom in on the telly a bit in. So we'll be able to just steer this around and look look all around and then we go, oh, hang on, is that him? There he is! <laughs> okay, he dropped the bottle. And then the good thing with this is we can call up a preset. I can go like this. Um, After it's been unplugged, it'll be reset, will it? There's our bottle. And... Oh, there's Joe. I'll just save that. <laughs> we'll go back to here. And if I do a bit of this... Okay, that's where the bottle's going to drop. Okay, Dave, release the bottle. You ready? Go. Spot on. <laughs> Spot on. Um, that is how it's all going to work. Yeah. Somehow. Somehow. Okay, Dave, we've got the uh, pole erected. Pole's fully erected. What do you think? I'll just have a look up. Well, as you can see, it's That's our antennas it's on the top fairly, of that. Um, there's nothing super complicated about this little procedure here. It's very standard. Uh, <laughs> we're getting the right sort of height, but hopefully the right range. We'll be heading out this weekend, of course, to give this stuff a trial in the uh, mobile command unit. So uh, we've got a bit of wiring to do, so we'll catch up with you real soon. <laughs> I'll go back and uh, take a wide shot. And all we do is pull this out. Somehow. So all the antennas will be on this bar. Yep. And away we go. Beautiful. So how far do you think we'll get with this, Davo? Well, we're looking at a range of 12 kilometres, Scott. Ah, uh, good stuff. <laughs> uh, on fire. That's not good. What do you reckon? Too bad, worry, I know. Yeah, it's not too good. Crappy We're just waiting, um, hoping the rain's going to stop.
we just had a, one of our final test flights and the motors just seized up. So we've got four to three days to find another motor and get it on and hope that uh, we're still in it. Anyway. So how's that little baby, Ian? He's pretty sick. Is he? Yeah, he hit some TLC. I think. Did he hit the ground pretty hard? Oh! Poor little guy. He's not happy. No, he's not happy. It's gonna need an operation. Uh, it's gonna cost a lot. <laughs> Okay, Ian, so um, how's he pulled up? It was a long operation. After a mishap with a fence, he's uh, been pulled apart and put back together again. But we're glad to say that he's back in one piece. <laughs> <laughs> Watch out, Joe, we're coming to find you. So, uh, what do we do now? Do we. Well, I think we'll put him back in the plane. You right with that little fellow? No. <laughs> you might have a problem. <laughs> well, he's going back in. <laughs> uh, cool.